to grow, and it has been growing ever since this tragedy was first reported early on Sunday. You'll recall that this was the place where we saw that amazingly moving vigil earlier this week, and of course yesterday, the president and the vice president both came by here to lay flowers at this memorial, and this is really becoming the spot where people come looking for continued support and a place to heal. So much support, handwritten messages, flowers, balloons, and candles. Puerto Rico's First Lady traveled to Orlando to bring the support of the Puerto Rican government to the families of the victims, as well as her message of hope. This could happen anywhere. Uh, and my, my message here is to uh, eliminate the hate uh, among individuals. We have to accept each other as we are and that uh, we have to construct a world of peace and harmony for everybody. The sadness is deep, but this has become the place to seek support as well as provide it. The city is united, strong and resilient, despite this violent act and the scars it left behind. I think it's important for all of us to show our solidarity with those who lost their lives on Sunday. Shortly after these men prayed together, this message to the victims and their families. Just try to keep your head up. You know, take the next step forward. You know, everybody that uh, that you were directly impacted with, they live in your heart, and you just have to try to live on with them and through them, and not uh, not let this hold a lot of fear and a lot of hate in your heart because that's not going to help you. Congresswoman Corinne Brown made her second visit here. These are people. They're not just pictures and memorial. These are lives. These are human beings, and. Um, you need to put it in perspective. And again, so many people are coming here. They are looking for comfort, but it'll, healing will take some time because the scars are extremely deep. But this is a place of shared heartache, and it would appear that is providing some comfort. Reporting live in downtown Orlando, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. Charlie Hall.